Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Yusuf Shakil and you are watching ESX Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn to create variables using var, let and const. So let's get started. All right, let's begin by creating a variable using the var keyword. Let's say we want to create a variable x and assign it a value 10. So we'll write the following line. Var x is equal to 10. And if we want to console log the value of x, we can write console.log x. And now if we run this code, we'll get 10 as the output. Now few important points that we must note while using the var keyword. For example, we can redeclare the variable x as many times we like. For example, if we write var x is equal to 20 and then if we console log x we are going to get the value 20. Now this is a problem because we can redeclare the variable as many times we like and we are not going to get any error. So if we just copy this one and rewrite again and let's say set the value of x to 30 and rerun the code, we are going to get 10, 20 and 30 and there will be no error. Another important thing to note about the var keyword is that it is not scoped within a block but it is globally available in the file. For example, let's create a for loop and print from 1 to 5. So we'll get rid of all this code. And now we'll create a for loop and we'll declare a variable x and we'll set it to 1 and then we are going to check whether the value of x is less than or equal to 5 and we'll increment the value of x one at a time. And now if inside the for loop we write let's say inside x and we save the file and run, we get the value of x, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now the interesting thing about this var is that the value of x is not just accessible inside the for loop, but it is also accessible outside the for loop. So if we write something like this, console.log, outside x and if we run again we can see we are getting the value of x even from outside the for loop and another interesting thing is if we declare a variable inside the body of the for loop let's say var y is equal to 100 we can easily access the value of y outside the for loop so if we say console.log and print out the value of y from outside the for loop, we can access it. Now if we want to solve this problem so that y once declared within this scope can't be accessed outside, then we take help of the let keyword. So let's go ahead and recreate the for loop but this time we are going to use the let keyword let x is equal to 1 x is more than equal to 5 x plus plus and if we console log inside x and run the code we get 1 2 3 4 5 but if we try to console log x outside the for loop, we are not going to get that. See, x is not defined because when we use the let keyword, the scope of x is only inside the for loop. We cannot access it outside the for loop. Similarly, if we declare a variable inside the for loop, let's say let y is equal to 100, 
and we console log the value of y inside the for loop, we can see that we can print out the value of y as long as we are inside the body of for loop. But if we try to access the value of y from outside the for loop, we are going to get an error. y is not defined. Another important point to note about the let keyword is that once we declare a variable using the let keyword, we cannot redeclare it. So if we clear our code, and let's say this time we declare a variable using the let keyword let x is equal to 10, and we console log the value of x and run the code, we get 10. Now if we try to redeclare the variable x and assign any other value and we try to console log it, we are going to get an error. Duplicate declaration x. All right, now let's talk about the const keyword. We use the const keyword to create constant. So for example, let's say we want to create a constant pi and set the value 3.14 we can write const pi is equal to 3.14 and then we can console log the value of pi and we get 3.14 now the important point to note about the const keyword is that once we declare a variable using the const we cannot reassign it a new value so if we try to reassign a new value to the pi variable we are going to get an error This is going to give us an error. Assignment to constant variable. So once we have declared a constant, we cannot reassign it, a new value. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this video. The notes of this tutorial will be there on my website, dyclassroom.com. The link will be in the YouTube description. So please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and please subscribe my channel and click that bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.